Hello everyone. I wanted to do a video on the 1962 RCA Whirlpool 8500 BTU unit. I finally got it all cleaned up. It's installed in my basement. Um, it's, a, it's a pretty decent sized room. You kind of you know, got a little pan of the room here. Um, and it also goes this way. There's a kitchen area and a bathroom and a hallway. And believe it or not, 8500 BTUs does this whole basement. Um, it doesn't really ever get that hot down here. I would say on a summer day, without any assistance, on a 90-something degree day, it's probably about 75 degrees down here. But it does get very humid. So the 8500 BTUs will pull the edge off of it and get the room. I mean, it's down to 70 in here. I had it running for the last couple hours. Um, still trying to find a sweet spot in the thermostat to get the room where I'd like it, which is probably about 72 down here. Um, thermostat might need to be cleaned. I'm not sure yet. It seems a little sticky. But what do you want for a 60-year-old air conditioner? I had issues with the fetters upstairs, too. The thermostat was real moody when I first got it. Um, they seem to need to be cleaned and tinkered with a little bit. And the range in this Whirlpool thermostat, from what I was reading, I think, is 78 to 58 degrees. So you could really freeze your butt out with this thing and still have it cycle on and off in a, in a smaller room. Um, still got to find this knob. So anybody ever sees a knob that looks like that, let me know. Well, or look, it's supposed to look like this, should I say? Let me know. Um, the Whirlpool has these um, air directors, which are pretty neat. They're spring loaded, and you pull them out and you turn it, and. There's one edge that's proud, so as you turn it in each direction, it can be pitched up or pitched down, depending on where you turn it. So I think that's pretty nifty. Um, I have a, these three going to the right to go over into the room. And then I have these two pointing straight ahead to hit the kitchen. And it pretty much directs the air where we want it to go. Um, so it's got a Tecumseh AU pancake. We'll turn it on, see what it sounds like from in here. I'll uh, put it on high cool. It was just running like five minutes ago, so... To get some temp readings. Let's see what what is it in here right now? Ambient wise, I need 78 in there. My temp gun's getting a little weak. There's no way it's 80 degrees in here. I just want to show this run here and put on a low pool for a minute. I don't know why this thing thinks it's 80 here. Now, of course, the probe is cold. Let's see what it says now. Still going up. 
That seems right now. Find that hard to believe, but. Try uh, exhaust. Sounds a little different. And to cycle it off in the thermostat. I'll have to kind of get the right place for that thermostat to live. When the compressor winds in, you you really hear the refrigerant take a while to equalize on it. No thump or anything, but it. very quiet. Anyways, thanks for watching.